It was an incident that shook the Fenland Falls community. On Tuesday around noon, staff at Great Finds at 27 Colburn Street welcomed a man into their antique shop who was asking about the pride shirts displayed at the front of the store. He proceeded to go on about how uh, a gay lifestyle was a sin and that we were going to hell and uh, those shirts were for those people. Meredith and another member of his staff are both openly gay and proud. When he informed the man of that, Meredith says he proceeded to utter an anti-LGBTQ slur over and over again. It's one of the baddest words that can be called and it does start with an F. Um, it's something that cuts deep like a knife when somebody actually says it to you. Um, and that was one of the first things that he called myself. Hours after the man left, Meredith says three pickup trucks pulled up at the front of the store and their driver stood outside in what he says was an effort to intimidate the staff. When one of the employees left the store, Meredith says they followed her for blocks. Meredith says after the police were called, the men left. The city of Kortha Lakes OPP put out a release Friday saying they're investigating allegations of slurs based on sexual orientation. OPP did not confirm whether the incident is being investigated as a hate crime, a bias-motivated crime, or a hate incident. OPP did say, however, that an offense has to have occurred for the incident to be classed as hate or biased. Meanwhile, in Fenland Falls, news of the incidents has reached thousands. On Thursday, an emotional and overwhelming show of support right outside Meredith's store. There was about 70 of us um, just circled around, uh, waving flags and just trying to make sure that they knew that they were loved. Ashley Leonard came by with her four children and their very own sign, Love is Great. We came to Randy's because we want him to know that we love him just the way he is. And now the community is taking it a step further by placing this sign outside their stores. We're giving out that sign so everybody that visits our establishments knows that uh, that's we don't tolerate racism or homophobia. Back at Great Finds, Meredith says he and his staff will never be able to let their guards down, but they will continue to be loud and proud of who they are, and they say they refuse to live in fear. Nudie Ibrahim, Global News.